Congressman Sestak, you mentioned that Vice President Biden will be there campaigning for your opponent, Arlen Specter. Obviously, um, the White House has put its, the weight of its uh, influence behind Senator Specter. You had mentioned in the past that they had offered you a job in the administration, some kind of deal not to run. That question gets asked in press briefings at the White House all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. They uh, never have a direct answer, so we're going to use the opportunity to ask you, were you offered a job in the administration not to run? In the answer, as I was asked this for the first time a month ago, even though it happened last July, and I never brought it forward, I answered it honestly, and I'll do it again, yes. Anything beyond that is politics, is well, politics. Hang on a minute. But it, this is a big accusation to the point of you have a colleague in Congress, a Republican member, Daryl Issa, who's calling for a, a, a special prosecutor on this issue. Who in the administration sat down with you and offered you a job, and what job did they offer you? You know, I didn't make the allegation. I was asked a question and answered honestly. I don't know Daryl Issa. He's never come and talked to me. And he should do what he wants. But only the right-wing Republicans like him and Arlen Specht are actually bringing this forward. You know, what I'm most harmed by, I think, as a Pennsylvania, by the, la by the broken integrity of the system, was when Arlen Specter actually told Rick Santorum that if you give me your endorsement in 2004 against Pat Toomey, I promise to give away my vote to George Bush for whomever he nominates for the next two Supreme Court justice positions on the Supreme Court. That's not Arlen's. And I respect Arlen's service, but not what he did. That's not his vote. But he can't say he's independent and give his vote away to George Bush. That's our vote as Pennsylvanians. Before we let you go, let us take another run at it, because you do say you were offered a job. Why not give us a little more detail so people can understand what happened here, who you spoke to, and what job was offered? Because the White House denies this allegation. You know as well as I do that they said they didn't think whatever occurred was problematic. And what I do know is this. To go beyond that, and, and I mean this sincerely, Savannah, to your question, people in my state have been hurt by this recession that George Bush and Arlen Specter voting for every tax and economic policy of his gave to them. They don't care about politics. They want principle and policy to try on Well, then why politics. did you make the and allegation? That's why I'm it. Because I, I, I was did, asked I did, the question, and I thought I should answer that question honestly. And then I said after that, Look, I'm getting in this because I didn't like the deal with Arlen Specter that the political Washington establishment made. I would never get out for a deal. I get out only, only Chuck, if it was the right thing to do. And the right thing to do is let's talk about policies instead of Arlen Specter after 30 years having nothing to talk about in this race. Won't even debate me except negativity. We're not going to put up with it either as veterans or Pennsylvanians, Chuck and Savannah. It has to change down here. It's not about politics. It's about policies that help working families. All right, Congressman Sestak. Thanks for thank having Thank you for me. joining us. It's going to be thank quite you. the wild three weeks, we think, in this primary <laughs> coming to the end of Pennsylvania. Race. Thanks for